Welcome everyone! Welcome! I think I'm live! Hello! Let's see if I'm... If I see people jumping on... Let's have a look. I haven't been on here for a while. So let's see if it's working. Okay, I see people coming in. Hello, welcome. Hi. Happy Friday. Hello. Let's see if I'm... Um, hi. Okay. The sound was on on my iPad for a second, so I turned it off. And... Now I'm back on and I can see comments too. So uh, let me know if you're seeing everything okay. And yes, it's working. Okay, perfect. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, so hello from Ontario. Hello. Oh, Ontario, California. Hello. Hello, Petra, Angelique, Renee, Marga, Kathy. Okay, I'm just going to wait a few more minutes for people to jump on and then I will start. So yeah, here um, I you can see already the card that I'm going to make today. It is a interactive card because I love interactive card and it is with the little scroll and some pumpkins because it is fall and yeah, I thought I'm going to do a full card. Okay, I'm still going to watch the comments for a little bit. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Um, I've not been here for a while because, um, well, I, I, I had some difficulties first with getting the, getting um, the the screen right, and then I also moved in the meantime, so getting the craft rooms back uh, back in order, and yeah, so that's why I was gone for a little bit, but I'm excited to be back. Block on, block on. Your screen keeps blocking out and block on. Yes, it's interesting, and I do see that too. And I was wondering what it was. Uh, maybe it's the internet connection. I did do a test run, and it's supposed to be all good. So let's hope it will just stop at some point. Okay, so before I get started, I wanted to mention a couple things. Because as you probably know, or most of you know... Uh, that we we had a challenge so and the challenge was be um, for uh, national card making day and um, the challenge was post a card on your uh, on our Facebook page and then um, with the hashtag WCMD22 so the um, the challenge ends today so you can still post something today and then um, the winner there, there's going to be five winners they will be announced tomorrow and um, and what they get is pretty awesome they're going to get a complete set of my new Christmas release and um, it's nine dice in total and one stamp set and um, yeah, so they they will win that five winners. So that's pretty exciting. And yeah, so if you still have a card that you haven't shown yet, put it up on our uh, page. And then um, yeah, to to get a chance to win. And thank you for everyone who already posted something because wow, I've seen some amazing um, projects on there, and it's been really cool. 
Um, so yeah, and maybe you've seen a little bit of a sneak peek already from my release. Um, it's called Cozy and Warm. So we have Santa, we have Miss Claus, uh, we have a baker set, um, a tag set, and um, yeah, a bunch of other really fun stuff. So, okay. And then the other thing, before I forget, is to mention about the these um about the class that's coming up the sidekick class with annette green uh, it's a super fun class um it will be uh, live on facebook on the 15th and um it's it's a class it's a it's a, you can join the class by purchasing the kit and the kit you can either get at your local craft store or you can buy it online on our website. Um, if you go to our, uh, our website, it is under Kids Bundles and Bidles. So um, yeah, so either there, and then you would need to join our uh, a private Facebook group called December Days Sidekick Class with Annette Green. So when you try to get on the on this page, there is a question that you need to answer so make sure you answer that question and then we can accept you to join this private group and it is um yeah so if you have tried to join and you haven't been accepted just go back and make sure that you answer the question okay so i think that's all i still see that my screen is turning dark and then turning ba back off. Um, yeah, it looks like some kind of party mode. Yeah, I really don't know. But um, yeah, let's get started. I hope um, it doesn't bother you all too much. And um, okay, let's get started. So for this card, I used our birthday flip card. And oh God. I see it. It keeps uh, snowflakes and, and confetti. I'm sorry about that. Okay. If you do have any questions or comments, you can pop them in the question box and um, Anya will be here to answer any questions. Okay. So, sorry. I haven't been on here for a while, so it's getting used to it again. So, birthday flip card. This is the die. So, what it does, it flips the card. And then the die includes a happy birthday that you can pop in the, in the frame. And then it includes this slot. Um, it's for a gift card, so you can make it into a gift card, birthday card, and then some stars and these little uh, things for to, uh, yeah, for the edges. Then I also used the scroll. Here it is. This is the beaver, but I used the scroll. And actually I got this idea. I think it was Candy Spiegel posted something in our family page and she used the scroll with the pumpkin and it was so fun. So um, I just thought, oh, I'm gonna, going to do that too. That's so fun. Um, the pumpkins are from the Hayride set. And, um, and then the little head is from the farmer. And, um, and then this one actually I used from the farmer, farm accessories. And what I did first, well, I'm going to go back to my comments again and see. Uh, no problems with the confetti, but the light flickering gives me a bit of a sensory overlay. Yes, I know, Femke. It's uh, it is um, it is frustrating, and I don't know why it uh, why it keeps doing it. But um, I don't want to press any buttons on my phone because uh, I was already quite happy. <laughs> that I got on here or really excited that I got on here. So uh, I apologize and um, yeah, maybe we can get it fixed for next time. So I 
colored all my pieces from um sorry i first die cut all my pieces from i used a cream colored um cardstock just because i thought it, then at least um it has a bit of color already you can use white cardstock you can die cut all the pieces from uh, from a colored cardstock so you don't have to color it yourself um, i use this dress ink to color and um yeah okay i'm going through a couple more comments yeah i know <laughs> it looks like a party that's right on the uh, anita It's always seemed to be something with my uh, with my life. Hmm. Okay. It does. Uh, yeah. It, I I understand. It's it's a bit frustrating. Okay. So the let's first go with. Um, oh, let's start with my card base. So I cut it from um, the card base from orange cardstock. Okay. So here it is, and so the card comes like this, and then there's already these score lines, so you just fold and fold here, and then you create your flip card. So this is the card, and then I cut these side tabs. And for these, I used Reminiscence, the book too. So here it is, got some beautiful papers designed by Esther. So I used one of the papers in there. And I'm just going to etch this a little bit with some carved pumpkin. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to add, oh. A little bit so happy friday again let's what's everyone up to for the weekend tell me something exciting planned i'm going actually to a uh, sing-along abba concert tonight uh, I'm going with my aunt and my niece and they live in Calgary, which is about an hour from where I live. I live in Banff, Alberta, Canada, for whoever um, hasn't heard of that. It's in Banff, it's beautiful, it's in the Rockies. And um, yeah, so Calgary is about an hour from here. So I'll go after the live, I'm going to get ready and drive to Calgary and then tonight we're going to this sing-along ABBA concert so I think it will be really fun and then tomorrow I'm going to do something fun with the kids the weather is gorgeous here it's really starting to look like fall um, I did a beautiful hike last week to see um, to see the largest so the the trees turning pretty much orange, it was beautiful. And um, it's a very popular hike that I did. And um, you will need to get there by bus because the parking lot from where the hike starts is always really full. So we got there by bus and then we did this beautiful hike, Large Valley it's called. And um, yeah, it was it was gorgeous. And it really, the, the trees really uh, turn orange. And there's only a small window when you can go see the largest. So, and, and this is the time of year to do it. So it's very, very popular. And yeah, so, and then with the kids, we'll probably take them for a swim or something, go for a bike ride, something like that. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow as well. Yeah, busy, busy. Okay, so this is just to, you see me doing the same thing, but this is just to add a bit of detail. There we go. Uh, I'm going to back to the comments then. Um, 
happy f uh, bring on let's see yeah winter release christmas it'll be super fun thank you ruli yeah just gonna scroll up so let's see okay i think there aren't any questions so far oh yeah i see someone um making a comment that they're getting ready for the day by day class and that's right so if you already joined the class you can uh annette post the video and that's to get um it's it's some prep work so yeah if you want to get ready go uh go on the page now and and get prepped because it's yeah then you're ready to go on the 15th okay look let's see a couple more do we have more actually i'm just looking at <laughs> love abba yeah it's uh where's my son in this one oh linda um you mean for a visit in banff that'll be exciting Kind of art craft fair oh a birthday that's always fun lots of people i see doing are going to do homework for annette's class yeah it will be a very very nice class okay let's okay let's go scroll up a bit a magic wand on your phone Joseph, do do you see a magic wand on your phone that you can click that might resolve the filter i okay i did i did see a magic wand so i let me just try that that would be okay i think the filter might be gone let's see oh no oh it is actually a little bit annoying because it's it's I'm, i keep looking at the screen and okay but maybe i don't see the i don't see the uh the flurries anymore the the birthday confetti so that might might have helped and let's hope it helps the screen too okay i should have looked at the comments earlier okay yeah i think it worked wow okay let's see yes thank you mom <laughs> so yeah else is in the netherlands so watching from the netherlands was that the confetti i guess that was the confetti i don't know when i pressed the confetti okay this is way better okay <laughs> this is way better yeah so okay oh yes okay i can focus now okay so i got the birthday flip card ready and then i just have to add here these but let's first go to the little scroll so uh, i did cut some um some parts or uh, i did color some parts already and i colored it with the rusty hinge and the reason why i cut everything from cream cardstock i don't know i just thought it had then it has a little bit of color already and then i have to color less but i don't know if it really makes a difference so i have done his uh, tail his face and his body and then i've done his ears and now i'm going to do his feet there we go his feet and then his little hands this is the part for his head and then he also has a little this is from the inside i'm going to do that with a different color and um, his little hands another one okay the ears i got already okay so 
I'll just do a little bit. The rusty hinge. And again, you can just um, cut this from colored cardstock as well. And I did it, didn't do that this time because I could not find a uh, color that I that that I um, liked for the for the scroll. I have a whole bunch of scrap paper, but there was not a color that I liked for the scroll. And I don't mind because I always like uh, coloring with um, this dress ink too. It's just a little bit more work, but it does give a really nice effect as well. So color these and the little hands. Thank you, Anya, for putting in the links. So Anya is putting in all the links from the products. And um, if there's any stores here, they can put links up to. And or maybe some of you already have the scroll in your collection because it is an older die. So you might have it already in the collection. I haven't used it for a while, but oh, it is. I think he's cute. It does. He he comes normally. He would he comes with this little chip, uh, nut. So I always try to when I make a character, I always try to include a little bit of a, an accessory. So that's what I with, did with that one. But then it's so fun to you know like combine other other accessories too. So I'm going to add a little bit of shading, a bit of dark to his tail, and I'm using the vintage photo. So just a little bit of more dark here. And in the meantime, I will try and look at some comments. Let's see. Okay. Stamp a lot, sir. Stamp a lot. Thank you for adding the link. And let's see. Okay, you're talking about um, some of the classes. Yeah, just if you, the, um, Annette put up a lot of great information. And uh, yeah, am I doing the class? No, I'm not doing the class, Patricia. Annette is doing the class and she, she's going to do the class in English and then Elsa is going to do the class in uh, Dutch. So for our Dutch viewers, they can um, watch it in Dutch. Because not everyone understands English. I mean, a lot of people, but not everyone. Okay, uh, also the little um, stripe on his nose. I'm adding a little bit of dark. There we go. And then his nose needs to be. And it's funny, I colored the ears already, but now looking at the card again, and I had the same thing when I made the card, you don't actually need ears because it's gonna be covered up by the head. So <laughs> there are some ears behind here or underneath his head, but so I actually don't really need these. Uh, okay, I do need to color his nose and I cut it out here. It's got some adhesive on the back already. So I'm just going to color his little nose. There we go. Okay, and then what else? Oh, his belly. Belly will do tea dye. Did I here before I get and then there we go and for anyone wondering when uh, my new release will be available um, uh, October 18th is the uh, wholesale release date so Keep an eye out for that. Check with your local craft store. And then a little bit later, it will be available on our website as well. It is the uh, wholesale release date. So keep it. Oh, I'm going to look at a few more comments. 
well. Okay, I see people watching still. Okay, newest comments. Oh yeah, and, and also don't forget to like and share uh, comments on this video because you also get a chance to win the $50 gift certificate. Wow, lots of prizes, lots of great things to win in the next little bit. Katrina, hi, just I totally sneaking on at work, don't tell. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming here. Okay, so everything is done. I do have to add, there is a, an embossing mark, so I'm just going to use a little fine pen and I'm going to mark his mouth. Wait until your ink is dry because um, otherwise it'll bleed. There you go. So the little yeah, is mouth. And I should also color already his head. Yeah, oh yeah, I see a comment about um, the recorded version of anything what we do live is you can always come back. And it's the same for the um, sidekick class. If you don't have time on the 15th, you can, you can just come back and watch it again. The video will stay in the group, so you can yeah come back and... Um, or work at your own pace too. Obviously, it's uh, it's it it'll all be there. All the info. And happy Friday. Okay, so that uh, now I'm going to I'm just going to get a different paper underneath here. Um, I'm going to color his the head. So the head is from the farmer, and um, Anya will. Put a link in here as well so i just thought it looked so fun and i'm going to color i'm going to use a wild honey okay. thank you for tuning in astrid it's okay if you're late thank you for watching uh, okay so wild honey beautiful color I see some people are still tuning in. That's great. Some pe people might have left in the beginning because it, about the screen, yeah. So that's okay. It's fixed now and everyone can come back and watch the video later. Joe said, don't you have a little sneak peek <laughs> of the new release? Well, mommy, you took all the all the all the packaging, uh, all the images. But let me see because I might. I know I did. Now the question is where. Oh, okay, okay. Little sneak peek, everyone. Little sneak peek about from my Christmas lilies. Um. So, this is Santa. And I did have a Santa already in my collection. But you can never have enough cute Santas. And it's fun to change it up. So, Santa has a bag for all his toys. And he has the list with all the people on it. So yeah, that's Santa. 
Um, we have a super cute Miss class. I mean, I must say, I love the Miss class. Um, but I don't have a sample of that yet. So you guys need to wait for that. But I do have this. We have a Neo Christmas sweater in the collection. The other one was quite popular, so we have a new one. So it comes with um, like a cute little overlay for a, like a Scandinavian pattern. And then um, it comes with some things to embellish the, the sweater. And yeah, that's, that's all I have here for now. I can tell you another little secret. There will also be a uh, new mug. That was another one, a really popular dye, the um, hot chocolate mug. And yeah, that's, that's so there's a new one coming that. And that also comes with, an, with a really cool overlay. Um, and uh, yeah, and you know she can cook. Okay. Yeah, so lots of cool stuff coming up, but the, 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 I think the the favorite one is 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 the Miss Class, and then there is a baker a set that Miss Class can bake. There is a kitchen, and yeah, this will be a fun release. Okay, I'm going to get. Let's see, Fouten Trijen, Jona, yeah, precies, Fouten Trijen. Ugly sweaters, yeah. Ugly sweaters. I remember when the when, with the um, the last ugly sweater or the Christmas sweater, we actually did a ugly sweater contest. Maybe we should do that again this time. <laughs> Make the ugliest sweater you can, yeah, you can create, and we'll pick a winner. That might be a fun contest. Okay. Love to send an ugly. The mug. Base of my own. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Looks like you guys are excited about the new release. That's good. That's good to, to hear. And Christmas is always a fun time of year. So making Christmas cards. It's just... A fun time. Okay, this little piece I'm going to color that using fire brick. That's going to be red. And you see me coloring a lot. I know. I hope it's not boring. But then you know the colors. And if I prep everything then I'll be done in 20 minutes there you go you're very talented Joseph. well thank you Penny that's really kind of you to say when is the release date Natalie uh, so wholesale release will be on the 18th and then Consumer release will be um, yeah, a little a couple weeks after usually. So keep an eye out. Okay, now what do I need to do now? Okay, the only thing I still need to do is make the little flower for his hat. I added that because that's not included. This one is just from one of the um, from one of the flower sets. I can look up after the live from which one it is so i'll do that one mustard seed i do one with mustard seed and then there you go and then the other one is wild honey as well uh, wild honey there we go And I was 
and when I was thinking yesterday, oh, what kind of cards I'm going to make. I mean, I knew I was going to use the scroll and I knew I was going to use the pumpkin. So I first thought, should I make a, a pool tap card that he's gathering pumpkins from the pumpkin field? So I had that in mind. And then in the end, I thought the birthday flip card because I hadn't used that one for a while. Okay, so and then the little center of the flower is going to be colored in a vintage photo. There you go. So now all we have to do is get the little scroll together and I'm going to use of the kids choice glue for that and uh, oh I can see that there's somebody knocking on my door well he's gonna have to wait yeah so so my craft room is sort of off um, off the entrance of the house so you go down a little step and I can see somebody standing in front of the door well he's going to have to wait I think he left already. <laughs> Oops, I'm not expecting anything important to be delivered, so I don't know. Um, I shared a watched pumpkin pet, uh, which pumpkin pet with gnome, which, oh yeah. Uh, this cute squirrel. I've actually seen so many cool uh, cards being posted and a lot are in the fall team theme because everyone is thinking fall and with Halloween coming up very soon so yeah that's 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 a really cool theme actually here in Canada it's Thanksgiving uh, already this Monday so the kids are the kids are off uh, on Monday again uh, there's a lot of holidays here and yeah so uh, I'm going to do Thanksgiving um, with a friend and her kids this Sunday. And then um, I'm, I'm not going to make a turkey because I'm not a big fan of turkey. And the kids probably won't like turkey too much. So I'm going to do a ham. And then just with nice veggies and roast potato. Let's see, everyone is still, who's going to share that? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to add this one together. Is every and anyone in Canada celebrating Thanksgiving? It's very Canadian. The Netherlands, I know that they don't do Thanksgiving. Uh, the US does, but it's on a different date. It's not, it's not this, uh, I think it's funny how it's different everywhere. Okay. So this one goes here. Usually I would be there. I like ham better than, yes, agree. I just find turkey a lot of work. And in the end of the day, it's, yeah, not too exciting. If you don't do it well, it turn, it, it, it's, uh, yeah, you'll have a dry turkey. And a turkey is very big and you end up eating turkey for a long time and I yeah I just do a ham and then if I have some ham left I make pulled ham and that's that if I freeze that so that that's nice to to still eat after and yeah it'll be fun okay his belly in Quebec Oh, I just saw someone from Quebec. Hold on, let's see the... 
In Quebec, we do not celebrate that much. We are mostly enjoying the extra day off. For me, it will be doing scrubbing. Maurice, yes. Oh, you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. No, I, I don't think everyone celebrates. But an extra day off is always nice. Poor turkey. <laughs> I do also have a turkey in my collection. It's a cute turkey. Uh, his face. I don't want to take this. Okay. Dat had ik afgelopen keer. Dat doe ik weer. Oh, in the Ukraine. They celebrate Thanksgiving. But we have some th things. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Ukraine. Yes. That's, that's. Yeah, of course. Ham. Nice ham. Okay, so we have. And his other eye. Oops. Here we go. And then the little bit of the is a little stripe on his face. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way, so this goes up. There we go. So, and I'm not going to bother putting ears on him because we won't see him. I tried hanging the ears sort of down, but then it's it looked too much like a rabbit, so or a bunny. So I just decided not to do any ears at all and they're just tucked underneath his head well the head is big enough oh. okay his nose oh here's his nose there we go and then oh the turkey says you can't wait to be back in my craft room I'm just following so, uh, the comments. Try to follow. I can only see the last two, and then and then I have to scroll up and down. I think that's kind of common with the Facebook lives and and the comments not showing so well sometimes. It's a learning process, and it is tricky sometimes his body yeah see or sometimes I lose the comments and that one and his feet oh yeah so I decided to um, grab a pump get a pumpkin and he's kind of like leaning on a pumpkin I thought that was cute um, yeah, so as mentioned earlier, the, the pumpkins are from the Hayride uh, set. And I, uh, I cut them from orange and I did a bit of coloring with the carved pumpkin as well. Um, okay, so his feet. I'm making a mess on here, but it's okay. I'll clean that up after sometimes i put the glue on my hand and now i just put it on my mat one here and then the other one oh hi carol ah thank you carol nice to see you so i'm going to carol has a store in calgary and I've known her for a very long time and um, yeah, thank you for being here, Carol. I'm going to Calgary tonight. I wish I could stop by the store and say hi to you. I will come out soon to for a visit. And I say that 
a lot, but I will come uh, because it would be fun to see you again, Carol. Uh, let's see. go the pumpkin I'm jumping from the squirrel to the pumpkin but I'm just going to add this one here what's everyone saying see I'm already starting to um, get into into the tunes of ABBA it's a sing-along concert so I've for for the last few days I've been <laughs> these songs from Abba pop into my uh, into my head, so it will be so fun. I've never been to a um, like a. I mean, this this is said sing along Abba concert, so I think you're kind of expected to sing along, which is great. There you go. And then here's the pumpkin goes there. This one goes here. And oh and then oh what's that one? Okay, uh, his little hands. That oh, under the pumpkin. It's a heavy pumpkin. Yeah, I also thought about like uh, creating a pumpkin patch. There's there's so many fun cards to make with the um, with all the fall dyes and stuff so cute okay there we have the little squirrel is oh it's still need he needs a tail of course and one goes there oops and then Sorry, my glue is drying. And now the head, actually I need to tuck the head behind his, um, here. So this one, this piece goes here. And then this goes over top. See, there you go. I th There was no way I could pop ears in there or I could get the ears to show. See, I could do them up here that looks kind of cute so yeah you can do that have his ears poking out of the top i mean it's a it's a i think you call it a stray head and yeah they're always broken and kind of like typical stray head if that is if i say that correct so uh, yeah that would be fun actually to pop though to pop his ears at the top. Okay, there we go. This one goes here and I need a little bit more glue. Oh, I can scrape it from here. Oops. That's not well. Looking at some comments. So you will have lo lost your voice after the... Yes, Femke, I think I will probably have no voice left tomorrow. So it's good that the live is today or that the, con that, that the concert is tonight. And it's good that it wasn't last night because then, yeah, then we would have a... A flickering screen, confetti coming up from all angles, and no voice. No, that would not be successful. And you know, you, you learn, so 
now I know what to do next time because I I actually really enjoy doing these lives it's just uh, it's just lear learning the this this the process the that learning the, the phone learning Facebook and yeah I mean learning all the the little apps that you can use for it okay he's done and now just it's just finishing the card so easy peasy where are we at the time how much time do I have left oh only 10 minutes okay well I need to hurry up then but it's it's an easy peasy one before we love having you well thank you so much I don't even see who who made that comment because it's it's uh, it's gone but thank you so much yeah that Brooks has grown oh yeah Brooksy Brooksy that is um, my brother's son my brother and Danielle's son and he's so cute last time that we saw him was with summer summertime and, but yeah he has grown a lot since oh look glue on my hand okay and i'm using our double-sided tape and this one is oh i believe it is a 10 millimeter and that one is actually perfect for for the, this because see it just fits right here so I will use this one and a little here and over here oh 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 there we go He's adorable, yeah. I mean, I must say, he, the Skrull is one of my favorite characters. Um, yeah, he might be my favorite. Just trying to think. Oh, yeah, the, the other one, the other favorite of mine was the um, zebra. I don't know if you all know the zebra, but he was very cute i must say so yeah maybe it's a scroll and a zebra and which else oh yeah the parrot the parrot the parrot was a popular one too he is cute okay now i just have to i'm just going to stand up and eyeball this oh sorry sorry i want to do this straight There we go. The other side. Which one is your favorite character? I'm curious to know. I think we've... I'm curious to know... What is your guy's favorite character? And... What is a character or an animal that you still like to see in the collection? I think we've had we've done this question before, but I I would love to know. Maybe there's some new input. Maybe there's some new people watching. I would love to know. What is your favorite? Or what are you missing? Because you guys always have great ideas. And um, yeah, it's it's great to know. Let's see. Oh, monkey. Oh, yeah. The cow. Oh, yes, the cow. A mouse. Mouse. Okay. Yep. How can there not be a mouse in my collection yet? And I must say, I thought about my mouse for a while. And um, it just... It hasn't come on the... 
on the design table yet, but it was one on my list and I do like a mouse. Dogs, yes, Lily, agree, agree. Um, do I, yeah, we have a little dog. Adorable bed. Oh, yes, good idea. Yes, I like that too. I'm going to, after the live, I'm going to go back and I'm going to watch everyone's comments because that is, I really, really like everyone's input. And it gives me, I, it gives me some ideas too. Oh, a frog, an angel. Do we have a frog? I, I can't even remember. I, there's so many. I've designed quite a lot over the past few years. And um, I thought, yeah, we do have a frog. It was from the princess and the prince collection. See, I just forget about it. But that one was cute too. Crocodile, yes. Yes, we have a frog. Yeah, we do have a frog. He's cute. Check it out. He, um, yeah, it, it was um, from the Prince and Princess collection. Okay, eyeballing this again. I'm standing up. There we go. Yes, we do have a frog. Do we, do you have cats? Yeah, we have a cat. Yeah, that, that one came out with the same, uh, at the, in the same release as the dog. So it had a, it was a cat, a dog, and it was the dog house. But that's, that, that one is, is, yeah, definitely an older one. Ooh, a snake. Love a snake. But how do you make a snake cute? It's the same as a crocodile. How, you ma how do you make a crocodile cute? Because I do like cute. It needs to have a really cute face then. A ladybug. I see someone. That one is fun too. Okay, I'm talking too much. And I'm not focusing uh, on my card. And I only have 10 minutes left. Or maybe I'm already past the 10 minutes. So, But the card is... Oh, hold on. I... There is, oh yeah, so I cut this rectangle. It's from the fitted um, stitched rectangles. And I think it's the second smallest. And I'm going just add a little bit of tumbled glass. There you go. I love... No, I love all the characters. A sloth would be great. Oh, yeah. A sloth. Such an interesting animal, but so cute. I think, yeah, a sloth is a good one. Because they are so cute. Do you have a tooth? Oh! I do have a tooth. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> The squirrel needs a tooth. And I do have that one. There you go. And it's still here. The tooth. <laughs> That's an important detail that I forgot. Oops. He's got a crooked tooth. There you go. Now he has a tooth. <laughs> a missing tooth. Actually, my daughter, she na she lost... Uh, a few weeks ago, she lost um, one of... It, her bottom tooth, too, she already, um, she already lost. And uh, now she recently, a couple weeks ago, or a month ago or so, she, she lost her top one, one of them. And... Um, that that it, yeah, I think the top ones or the but it it that specifically the top ones. If you lose one of those, it kind of looks funny. And picture day at school was coming up. I said, 
on the account because the, the, the two next to um, the one was already wiggling. I said, Annika, keep it in there for a few more days. Picture day is coming up. So yeah, she made picture day with just one tooth at the top missing. But I think it was a few days later and then uh, she lost her other one. So then she had the the big hole. So now she has a bit, the big hole and the, um, and the, so they, they sliss a little bit with the, uh, how do you say that? They, with the S and so yeah, it's funny how, how they just, we just made it for picture day. There we go. And now we are going to add this and the little pumpkin. <laughs> they look so cute with teeth missing now that I'm a dog. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They, they, <laughs> they do look cute. I mean, it, it, it is, uh, it definitely is cute, but I, uh, yeah. And now my son thinks that he is, uh, his tooth are wiggly too. Uh, I don't think it's that wiggly yet. But he says, oh, look at my tooth. It's wiggly. Oh. So the one goes here. And then, oh, cute. And then just a bit of tape. And then I'm getting happy looking at this card um, because fall is just what a beautiful time of year. Okay. Oh, right here. And there we go. There's your card. And um, yeah, you can add a sentiment. I uh, added a, a sunflower. I actually had a little um, little mark underneath the sunflower, so that's why I added it. But I think it kind of looks cute. Um, you could always um, add the uh, gift card. I don't know if you if somebody's birthday is in fall. You can add a little gift card holder there. The, you can put the gift card slot. And then, yeah. There we go. So, let's see if there's any more comments. Thank you, guys, for watching. So nice to have you back. Thank you, Belinda. I will be back. Not sure when, but I will be back because I think next time it's just going to go perfect from the start without a flickering um, screen, without confetti falling from the sky. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and share. And don't forget to post a card still for the challenge uh, with um, the hashtag WCMD22 in our Facebook family page. And if you'd like to join a sidekick class with Annette, it's going to be fantastic. All of her classes are always fantastic and her prep work is fantastic. Her videos are amazing. So yeah, thank you all. Come join and yeah, I hope to see you next time. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye.